my boost time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with something slightly different to normal actually. This is an Octavia VRS, a real sleeper, I suppose you could say, almost the ultimate undercover police car. Um, but this, of course, is not standard. It's a stage three car running just shy of 500 brake horsepower, which is some solid power. We've got Turbo Technics V4 hybrid turbo on here. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to kind of experiencing something like this because it's definitely a car which I haven't experienced before. Now in slightly different fashion, we're not actually joined uh, to Today with the owner of the car we're joined with Camden the owner's son Stephen the owner is busy unfortunately today uh, so luckily uh, Camden has come down with the car uh, to show it to me so what we'll do we'll introduce you to him very shortly basically he can explain what's been done to the car and then we'll go out and experience this 500 brake Octavia VRS Okay, we're joined now with Camden, not the owner of the car, the owner's son of the car. Thank you very much for bringing the car down, no worries. Uh, seeing as your dad's busy at the moment. Of course, you're into your cars as well. You've got uh, a nice little car of yourself. Yeah. Got an RS38P. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Modified, I presume? Stage 1 MRC, so yeah. it's not too crazy, but it's all right. Ah, fair play. Yeah. Thank you for bringing the car down to anyone on behalf of your dad. This is his car. Um, really nice looking thing, actually. It Something a lot different than what I'm used to, I suppose. Yeah, it is different, like you said. It's like a police car. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much. police car, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. You I don't mean, see it's... them really, do you? Not it... like this sort of... Yeah, sort. that's it. Um, but running some good power as well, just yeah. shy of 500 brake. 491, 600 newton meter. Okay, uh, nice. And it was high boost. Oh, oh, so you got switchable maps? Yeah, it's got three maps. Low yep. boost, 400 brake. Yep. Uh, mediums, 466. Yep. And then high boost, 491 nice. on octane. And that was tuned by MRC. MRC. Yeah. yeah. Um, hybrid turbo wise, as I mentioned, we've got a Turbo Technics V4. Yeah. Um, which is a similar turbo to what I've got on my Golf, actually. So yeah. it's a slightly, slightly smaller turbo, but it, it's quicker spooling, basically. So arguably, a better turbo, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> and then uh, downpipe wise, what is it? Uh, it's got a Miltec three-inch downpipe into a mm -hmm. uh, Miltec. Full system. Okay, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. See, yeah. Uh, induction kit as well. Racing yeah, it's on got R600. Racing on R600, turbo elbow, and yep. a muffler delete. Cool, yeah. It's uh, a pretty go to system, really, for yeah. any of these, isn't it, I suppose? Um, and intercooler, I presume, yeah, running racing on line, high flow. All you really need to do, really, apart from maybe the fuel mm -hmm. pump? Uh, low bar, high pressure fuel pump. Okay, yeah. And NGK spark plugs and coil kit. Okay, yeah. But yeah, 500 brake out of, well, a little family wagon, basically, <laughs> isn't it? You don't see it, do you? <laughs> I bet it goes well, bet it, it goes well. Um, but yeah, moving around, of course, we've got a nice low line kit as well with the red details on that. Some nice big uh, Revo brakes as yeah, well. Yeah, 380 mil discs. Nice, yeah. Are they six spots? Uh, six spots, yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. And then these are the standard wheels, I think, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're yeah. upgrade, the optional extra 19. Suspension wise as well? Bill style suspension with front and rear white line anti roll bar kit. Okay, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, Miltec back box. With uh, RS3 Miltec tips as well. Oh, okay. Which is a bit different. Normally it's the, uh, yeah. the old fake casing on them, but. Very cool. Yeah, nice. But yeah, I mean, was this a, a car which he took straight to stage three, or was it was it a bit, a bit, bit, bit of a project? St stage one, then yeah. straight to stage three. Nice. MRC, big bill. Skipped out stage two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be fair, these things do go under the radar quite a lot, really. That kind of car, isn't it, really? A bit of a Marmite car, I suppose. Like, yeah, not I, for everyone I suppose so. Um, yeah. But it's obviously DSG as well. DSG, yeah. Uh, is it, has that been mapped as yeah, well? Yeah, it's had a gearbox tune from MRC yeah. as well. Cool, yeah, yeah, no. As well as, I imagine, goes like stink too. So. It is quick. It's surprising. <laughs> it's like it keeps going. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's one of those things. Used by it? gear, I believe. So okay, third nice. gear is a bit laggy, but it comes in like, yeah. gradually, and then yeah. we'll just keep going. Fair play, fair play. But yeah, I think if that's pretty much everything, I think yeah. we'll we'll get it fired up and, and go for a spin. Definitely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good old bit of wheel hop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it flies 
though. And this is low boost for it right now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. When it hooks up though. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely no slouch. It, picks, it just picks up. Yeah, well, it's very linear and it's yeah. almost like as you go in it, it just keeps on getting faster and faster. Yeah. But yeah, what made him what made him go for one of these? Was it just just a car no, you always no, I think fancied it, or? We've got we've got a Mark III Focus RS. Nice, yeah. Uh, and that was too much to fuel to go bad. No, look, I didn't want to keep putting miles on it. Yeah. So we got this and then they end up going stage three. Because yeah. you use it for work, it's his work car. Oh, okay, but fair enough. Now he's stage three, because the, <laughs> the boot's massive on it. That's true, yeah. yeah the boot is huge. Awesome, but... yeah. It's quite nice that it's not too loud, though, because it... Yeah, it is nice. It does, I suppose, go under the radar anyway. Yeah. I can't imagine there's many of these in the UK which are really that modified, to be nah, honest. I know he speaks as one that's running about 500. But okay, yeah. I don't know of any of us. Fair that's enough. through the forums, though, so... Yeah, yeah. Probably is some out there on this power. Good about an induction noise from the R600 as well. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> Third gear is really strong. Yeah, you just you just gradual. I think first and second, because obviously whereas front wheel drive, yeah. first and second is almost not perfect especially on a day like today yeah of course yeah it's cool. got the ps 5s on it now but yeah good tires ps 4s are s's probably better he had them before he's got a higher profile now as well it was 225 before now he's gone to 235 yeah and it just keeps going doesn't it yeah. <laughs> but you don't no one expects it from this like yeah it's, it's that you kind of get, car you think you get everyone tried believing it you yeah think, like, you don't know what you're trying to race <laughs> I've raced a 911 turbo in it. Yeah. I think they're 400 odd. This was slingshot in it. No way. On a dual carriage. So he got the jump and then yeah. you <laughs> reeled him in. Yeah, he did not expect it at all. <laughs> Boy, he thought you were a copper at first. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. High boost time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this goes from 460 to 490, pretty much. For 400, the event was just. Oh, okay, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was in 400 map one. That is. Oh, I see. And straight to high boost map three. Ah, so we were low boost now. Yeah. High boost. Not for a barge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lovely. It scares me. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. Well, I suppose it's it's a big car anyway, but yeah. where obviously the front wheels are very busy, like spinning away most of the time. Yeah. It, it, you've still got to ha like hold on quite a lot. Yeah, you have. It's quite boaty, to be fair. I'm surprised of how well it does handle. To be yeah, fair. it is all right, to be fair. Yeah, fair play. In terms of interior mods, fairly. It's got layer paddle shifters. Yeah. Uh, some aftermarket gear shifter. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's um, I noticed noticed those. Yeah. No, that's that. it. That's it yeah. really. Apart from that, I think. Don't really need to do anything else. No. Yeah, it's not like you're going to track spec it or anything. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Daily drives it. Yeah, my little sister in the back and stuff. <laughs> For a work car daily driver, it's uh, yeah. Well, switch the maps and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely great. <laughs> yeah, that's rapid actually. The more you do it, the more I'm like, okay, I'm in a Skoda. Yeah. It's <laughs> weird. It's a yeah. sleeper, it's definitely a sleeper. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yes, you've got some bits on the outside, like the low line kit and yeah. stuff like that. You can spy the big brakes, but That's as a car, as a whole, do you think, oh, it's just a pimped up Skoda? Yeah. You wouldn't think that it's 500 brake. No, definitely not. 
But yeah, no, mate, thank you so much for bringing it down. It's okay. I really appreciate that. And of course, if you do want to learn more about the build, then I will leave uh, Stephen's Instagram link down in the description down below. I can leave yours as well, if you yeah, want. Please, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, why not? Thank you for bringing it down. No I really worries. appreciate it. And uh, yeah, good to experience something, well, vastly different, really. I mean, the platform I'm obviously very familiar with, but the car that surrounds it, yeah, pretty unique, pretty special. But yeah, that is it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe to all the adventures. Stuff to